Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at this Finnegar Hill uh, portal, and we have some VBA code, uh, C++ code, and we have R code for estimating Black Scholes Greeks and doing some graphing. So um, to get some deeper understanding of uh, the intuition behind the Greeks, uh, you might consider looking at this playlist. And that that brings us uh, gives us some background on uh, the Greeks and some intuition, and there's four videos there. And then for more um, uh, direct uh, explanation of the Greeks and how we can replicate results analytically and numerically, uh, you could try this playlist. And again, we we will check to see our the numbers we estimate here are consistent with what we had done in the prior in the previous video clip and we know these numbers to be correct so i'm going to take the stock price the exercise price the maturity of the option the risk free rate the dividend yield and sigma and we're going to use code that's based loosely on simon beninga uh, vba code for estimating uh, black shoals greeks i've made some minor modifications but not hugely. And I need to go into Excel. So I've already set up a, a blank uh, Excel workbook and we need to put in code here. So we, we're gonna copy the code in. So we go to developer and then there's some existing files open. We don't want to use the existing files. It's this one here, it's book two and I need to insert some new code. So we're going to insert, uh, we're going to put in some new code. So to put in new code, we need to right click, insert module, right? And we have an, a blank canvas and we just paste our code, the user define code here. Okay, so let's go back and properly uh, guess our code. Right, and we copy the VBA code here, and then we go into our spreadsheet, and we go to our module. Don't have a name here, we can actually give it a name. Let's just paste first. And then maybe we can alter the name here and just put in BS uh, Greeks, Black Shoals Greeks, okay. And you can see here that the the um, the uh, name here has changed for the module. Okay, so let's go back into our spreadsheet for a moment, and uh, let's just redimension and uh, keep in mind we had um, uh, perhaps what we could do is just paste, maybe paste uh, the code here for a moment and look, then look at the order of the variables. We want to maintain that chronology. So it's gonna be S and uh, K for the exercise. S is the underlying, K is the exercise, T is the maturity of the option, R is the risk free rate, Q is the different yield, and Sigma is the volatility of the return. And then we're gonna use our uh, parameter values that we've used before so we know what to expect, right? And we can verify if our results are consistent with other results that we would have obtained previously. So the first thing we would like to estimate is probably the time value of a call. And uh, we have that formula here somewhere, right? So uh, Black Shoals BM S BSM call we have here, and we can call that up. Okay, so we're gonna say, first of all, time value. So T value, time value. And then we need to, um, okay, so it's gonna be Black Shoals M call. And then the we can verify the order of the parameters if we hit FX here. So the first variable is 100, the exercise is 100, the time period is one year, the risk free rate is 5%, dividend yield is equal to zero, and then 0 0.2 
is the value of the is the value of the volatility and we get a value for the time value of 1045 and that's correct we know that from before uh, and then for the delta there's a delta there's a gamma gamma uh, there's a theta vega and rho maybe i should go vega theta rho vega theta rho now to get some explanation what each of these uh, Greeks represent, um, my advice is to go back to the portal, the Vinegar Hill portal here, and you might just check out the playlist. So I have a couple of playlists, but this one is probably, um, the first one here is quite good at just uh, explaining what parameter sensitivity is and then how we capture that with the Greeks. And the second one is how we go about estimating. So it's a more thorough type estimation and we compare analytical and numerical. So basically uh, where we base our results on a formula and then numerically how we replicate uh, if we want to verify our results are true and also provide some intuition. Okay, so um, we're gonna go back into our spreadsheet uh, and we're going to um, fill in the gaps here. Now we need to put in put, and again, we can carefully craft that. If we pull these variables across, then we have the same set of parameters. There's no change. And then for the put option, we can just put in put here. So P-U-T. And we get a value for, uh, we reversed this. Okay, so the value of the call and divide the put all we need to do here is substitute in instead of call use this one put okay and 557 that also is consistent with what we've been using before um and then in a very simple a very simple way of generating the other parameters is just copy and we can paste these paste and just pull down and then as we're going through here, we can say equal to, and we can call up the user defined function. So it's delta, it's the delta. And is it for a call or put for the call? And we get the value of the call. And then gamma, we can put in equal gamma. And we have to be careful here, gamma for the call and put are the same. And for vega, something similar, the vega for the call and put are the same. So we just have vega, and we get a 37 and for the theta they're going to be different for the call and put so theta for the call and then the row uh, again different for the call and the put so row c for the call and then we can pull that across and and again in this instance it's going to be for p uh, no change for gamma, no change for vega for the theta, we just need to put in P. Uh, and for the row, we need to put in P. Okay, so there are parameter results. We can compare with what we had before. I'm going to pause here for a moment, the recording, pause the recording. Okay, so I just copied uh, those parameter values in from that uh, video clip that I uh, linked in before. And you can see that the results that I obtained here using the VBA uh, 1045, so for delta, gamma, vega, theta, and rho for the call option, they're consistent with each of the values here. Didn't do it for the put. And I also, uh, in that particular other video, demonstrate the um, using an, a numerical estimation technique, what the value of the delta would be, and you can see it's consistent with the results that we have, uh, that we used here. In fact, I used the data table here, uh, and 63, 68, 63, 68, so they're the same. So that, uh, this VBA uh, code looks as if it's functioning fine, no issues. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here.